In the last section, we successfully finished up our day item component, which just has the text a day of the week. We then exported that component using the module.export syntax, and then required it into index.ios.js as the variable day item. We then re rendered the day item component inside of the weekdays component by using the idea of composition or nesting with React. So our component day item is now visible on the screen, but it's not really showing what we want to show. It shows static text right now, but we really want it to show a very particular day of the week, either Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, so on. So we now are kind of presented with a problem here. The weekdays component knows about every per day of the week that we want to show. We have a single day item, but what we really want is to have multiple day item components, right? We want to have one day item for each day of the week. Each day item needs to know what day of the week it wants to render, or it need, you know, needs to show as text. So let's kind of reframe this issue for a second. Our parent component, weekdays, has a list of data, days of the week, that it wants to show. It needs to somehow communicate that list of data into a child component. Fortunately, React makes this kind of communication very simple. And when I say kind of communication, what I really am talking about is we have a parent component and we have a child component. We want to pass data from the parent to the child. Communication between a ch parent to a child with React is referred to as passing props or passing properties. Props or properties in React refers to passing a list of configura configuration options from a parent component to a child component. Props are used to customize the behavior or content, in this case, of child components. And we'll be making use of them in just about nearly every com component we uh, build throughout this entire series of videos. So if what we do in this section right here doesn't quite make sense, don't sweat it. We're going to have a lot of opportunities to repeat and gain mastery of it over time. So we're going to use the concept of props to communicate the day of the week from index, this file, into day item. In practice, this code is, thankfully, very straightforward. So all we will write here is inside of our day item tag, we'll add an additional expression, day is days at zero. So days at zero is just very simple, you know, refers to the word Sunday, the first element of the days array. No problem, right? We wrap that with curly braces. Again, curly braces inside of our JSX means we're about to reference a JavaScript variable. So days at zero is a JavaScript variable. We need to wrap it with curly braces. The result of days at zero, which is Sunday, is then assigned to the variable day. So you can kind of imagine after everything gets ran here for the very first time this runs, we would kind of end up with something that looks like this, right? Pretty straightforward. So you can imagine that day equals Sunday, essentially. This right here, this little grouping, this little expression, is referred to as a prop. This is a prop right here. We are passing a property with a value. When we create the day item component, any properties that we have included in here will be passed to that particular instance of day item. So we're creating a brand new copy of day item and passing it day equals Sunday. So let's go ahead and now flip over to day item. At this point, we've kind of solved the puzzle for uh, one side of the equation, right? We've, we've said the parent component is now pushing this data down into day item as a prop. Day item, though, really needs to also consume this data. It needs to make use of the properties that it's being provided. So we have provided a property to day item. We're now going to go into day item and consume that property. So now inside of day item, I'm going to delete the text, the static text that we already have here. And again, we're going to make access to a JavaScript variable. So inside of the JSX, that means I need to add a, a pair of curly braces here. So we know that we have a property in here called day. 
and that is equal to Sunday. So we need to somehow get access to that variable. Well, to do so, we'll write this dot props dot day. What this does is it says any configuration options that were provided to me to you know day item are all available as this dot props. We'll then pick off a very particular property off of there, which is day. So the end result of this expression right here should be Sunday. I'm going to go ahead and save this file, and then we'll go ahead and refresh the simulator, and sure enough, days of the week, Sunday. Terrific, just what we expressed, or excuse me, expected. So let's walk through this process one more time, just very quickly, because I don't want to talk your ear off here. Inside of index.js, we want to pass a very particular piece of data into a child component. We do this communication using the, pro the concept of props or properties. We define a property by taking a JavaScript variable, wrapping it with curly braces, and then setting it equal to some just random property name. You know, we can call this anything we want right here. Then inside of day item, we access that property by saying this.props and then the name of the property that we want. Pretty straightforward, right? If it doesn't feel straightforward, and I've done a poor job of explaining it, do not sweat it. Again, we'll be making use of this idea just all over the place, and you will have more than enough time to absorb it. So let's go ahead and continue in the next section.